The U.S. Navy christened a new autonomous ship in the fleet, the Unmanned Surface Vessel USV, named Mariner. A ceremony at the U.S. Naval Academy was organized to mark this milestone. It is the latest so-called ghost ship to join the U.S. Navy at sea. The Mariner is the third of four Overlord USVs the U.S. Navy ordered. The last one is still under construction. Viewers may note that the aim of the Overlord program is to convert commercial fast supply vessels, which are used to service and resupply oil and gas platforms at sea, into an experimental unmanned ship that could navigate the ocean with or without human help. Interestingly, the first two, the Nomad and the Ranger, participated this summer in the Rim of the Pacific International Training Exercise, which was one of the biggest deployments of an uncrewed ship to date. The fourth ship, Vanguard, is being built by Austral USA. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes what Ghost Fleet brings to the table for the U.S. Navy. Let's get into the details. This video is sponsored by War Thunder. If you are, like us, fascinated by military vehicles and technology, I recommend you give War Thunder a try. It's a military vehicle combat game which you can download and play for free on PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One with cross-platform support. It has a huge variety of more than 1,200 playable aircraft, tanks, helicopters, and ships from the 1930s to the 1990s, which you can take to battle on land, in the air, and at sea on more than 80 theaters of war. War Thunder has been kind enough to offer All Defense Updates viewers a special bonus, which will grant you a free premium tank, aircraft, or ship, and three days of premium account time for registering using our link in the description below. So take the plunge and join more than 20 million players from around the world. The USV Mariner is currently in the testing phase and is expected to join other ships in California in the next fiscal year. While the Mariner and the Overlord USVs are technically uncrewed and run on artificial intelligence, they are not exactly designed to exclude sailors. The Overlord USVs have crews of six, with most features being automated. As per reports, the ship also has a big red button that can turn off the software control and let the ship's captain take over operations in case a situation arises. Importantly, in Mariner, the payloads are containerized, meaning they can be put on the ship's deck and quickly get up and running, as opposed to something such as the Aegis combat system, which must be integrated into the ship itself. Mariner is capable of holding two 20-foot-long container boxes in front, as well as four 40-foot-long boxes in the back. As per the recently released 2022 edition of the Chief of Naval Operations Navigation Plan, the U.S. Navy plans to expand the overall force from approximately 300 combat ships to 523. Importantly, of those, 150 ships are intended to be uncrewed. These would work hand-in-hand -hand with the rest of the manned combat ships. Rear Admiral Casey Moten, who works on unmanned programs, stated this during a tour of the ship last week, Breaking Defense reported. We can take two of our USVs and go out and do multi-vessel ops, and not necessarily have to take a destroyer off of actual fleet operations to go do that. It's evident that the U.S. Navy has massive plans for unmanned vessel and the current Overlord USVs will be used to iron out chinks before more investments are made. A large fleet of traditional manned ships is costly to operate and maintain. It's the need of the hour that few tasks are shifted to unmanned platforms. This also fits in the larger concept of having a more distributed and flexible fleet. U.S. Navy envisions a ghost fleet consisting of large unmanned surface vehicles LUSVs, medium unmanned surface vehicles MUSVs, and extra-large unmanned undersea vehicles XLUUVs. The vessels will be low-cost, high-endurance, and modular. That is, they'll be reconfigurable vessels and will be equipped according to mission requirements. 
A significant part of the Ghost Fleet will come online through the Overlord program. The U.S. Navy plans to acquire two LUSVs per year from fiscal year 2020 to fiscal year 2024. These are between 200 feet to 300 feet in length and have a displacement of about 2,000 tons when fully loaded, making the LUSV the largest unmanned ship to date. The platforms will be packed with sensors of different types. Initially, these are expected to be unarmed but eventually could be fitted with different types of launchers, including Mark 41 VLS vertical launch system, which can provide a lot of flexibility as it can accommodate several kinds of weapons, like Tomahawk for land attack, VL ASROC for anti-submarine operations, ESSM for the anti-missile role, apart from SM-6. So technically, these vessels could pack a lot of punch. Hence, they would not just be a transport and surveillance component for the U.S. Navy, but could be used as offensive platform in the future. The U.S. has been fighting with adversaries that have no or very small navy, like Iraq or Afghanistan. All this while Russia and China were not on the radar. America was focusing on military assets that were more in line with these battles, like the development of drones. But things have changed. In the last decade, along with Russia, China has emerged as a critical threat. Both of these countries are actively pursuing ways to counter the U.S. Navy by developing a wide variety of anti-ship missiles. China currently has the largest navy when it comes to sheer numbers, though capabilities-wise, they're still to catch up. Even second-tier powers, like Iran, have been pursuing the development of a wide range of anti-ship missiles. The U.S. Navy has been focusing to make the fleet more networked and distributed in view of the emerging threats. The distributed lethality concept aims to disperse firepower across different platforms, and Ghost Fleet is poised to play a crucial role in this. It remains to be seen how things pan out. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.